I'm gonna show you how to replace your old CRT with a new upgraded LCD. Let's get going. I'm the CNC repairman. Are you the central belt? I'm gonna show you how the Niagara Falls school is off. Old machines have different style of screws that hold the rear of the pendant on. And almost always when I go to work on one, the heads are stripped or they're rusted in and I end up sitting here with a hammer beating on it while I'm trying to pull the screw out. Also, I've had to just take a little slotting tool, a vibrator tool or a grinder wheel, put a slot in the head and try to unscrew it. So if you start this project, don't get frustrated because it's, it's gonna happen. You're gonna have a stripped screw and you're gonna end up grinding it off. Sometimes they're a hex head or a socket head. This machine has a Phillips head. There's just a few screws, way more than necessary, and we'll be inside. I removed the back pendant cover and it exposes the ski biff, a couple of cables, the old CRT screen. Now be careful, these things have five to 10,000 volts in them, so don't just go poking your finger around inside of there. The shielding is to help. You're gonna want a 3 8 socket, and I prefer a quarter inch drive set with this screwdriver and a mini extension. And here's exactly why. Because you can reach in there, and then you can hold it nicely, and then it's super easy once you get it unthreaded to just sit here with your hand and quickly screwdriver it out. This is like my favorite tool set for working on machines. It allows you to quickly be short or long, so I just, I like these type of tools. So I'm gonna pull, there's four nuts that fit on a stud on the top and they have a nice little washer that holds it. I'm gonna pull those off on the bottom, pull those up on the top, and then this will slide right out. There's two connections that you need to look for. One is the power connection, it just uses a regular wall plug, and the other is a nine pin connector for the video data signal. Other than that, there may be a ground strap that you're gonna wanna remove and then this will lift right out. Now let's look at the front. This is what they call with a bezel. If your screen is pressed in and then there's a piece of plexiglass in front of it. They call that the recessed version. The LCD screen works for either and it comes with a piece of plexiglass to cover the screen. Right now it's got the protective plastic on it. So if you have got a machine with an extended bezel, recessed bezel, if you have a machine with an older CRT, you can upgrade to this. Let's pull the rest of these. The screws on the side hold the sheet metal bracketry. So don't unscrew those and you can't really reach them with a short socket. There's only four on the top, four on the bottom. So I've got the last top one in and I'm gonna just push this up. Oh, you can see the bottom's free. And I'll pull this last nut, set this up here and keep my fingers out of the insides of it. This will slide right out. The bezel may or may not come with it kind of have to shoehorn it out. There's the old screen. Let's get this unplugged. Here's the bezel. And if you're working on that machine that doesn't have a bezel, it's recessed, it'll have a bracketry about this tall to adjust for the curve of the screen because the screen fits a little further back. Those machines, when you're looking at them from the front with the upgrade, it's kind of got about a one inch gap in between. So let's set this down and pop the new one in. I've seen several people do screen upgrades on FANUC machines and other machines, and there's a big old fingerprint on the inside of the screen, and that's, that's just kind of annoying. So let's keep fingerprints out. That sits right in there. Now, now, I, now I'm gonna have to use my fingers. Let's see. Woo. There's some writing on the back, so you get the screen the right orientation. Ooh, let's do that again. I got a piece of scotch tape here. I'm gonna just put it in the corner to help hold it up. You won't see it at all from the front. This is a machine that did have a bezel. The other ones, they'll already have a piece of plexiglass there. You can replace it if you want. I'm gonna put another piece of scotch tape in here so this doesn't fall out. 
and I don't get any fingerprints on the back side of the plexiglass. There's some dust on the front side, that'll get wiped off. You wanna have the lettering up and the plug on the bottom, and then this can slide right in here. And we'll put one screw in to hold it in. Goes in a little easier and quicker than a replacement CRT does. Some of the issues that I see in the field on older CRT screens is they shift a little bit or they get fuzzy or they have burn in where the, the screen has been left on for so long that now it looks like the letters are on the screen all the time. And I've had customers call up and order a screen. They go, yeah, the operator changed an offset, but the screen burn in was so bad they couldn't see it and ran the tool right into it or another one they couldn't read the program because it had shifted so much off of the old CRT screen. In that case, if you bang on the side of it, you can maybe get it to warm up, or sometimes they'll work when they, they're cold, and then when they warm up, they don't work, and that's from a cold solder joint. And so you could possibly pull it out, touch up all the solder joints on it, and then it might, it might get you by for a while. Some of them have little adjustment pots for the horizontal and the vertical, and the you can just turn up the contrast or the brightness a little bit, but that then could burn it in even more. I gotta put this ground strap on and get the plug and the VGA connector, or the, it's a, not a VGA, it's a nine pin. A VGA won't work on this. So this will plug in. That's how easy it is. Let's hook up this ground strap. Gonna just tuck these cables out of the way and tighten up these so you don't have a loose connection. There are a couple of buttons on the side and you can adjust the color and the contrast. So I would turn the machine on at this point. It's a bad idea to put everything back together and then realize you forget, forgot to plug something in or you need to adjust something. So yeah, good, good mechanics test everything before or CNC techs before they put everything back together. These will just stay out of the way. There's plenty of room in here from the old CRT. Flip it around. Let's see if I can find a rag and we'll wipe off that dust and we'll turn it on and see what it looks like. Should boot right up. Look at that. Far cleaner, crisper. This is gonna help you be able to see your programs, your edits, your offsets going to be way, way, way faster. It's not half off the screen. There are a few adjustments on the back we can make. Right here, there are a few push buttons. Let's go ahead and see. We can change the color. I'll do it from this side. And we can change the contrast. There's the contrast up and down. It comes right out of the box, just looking really nice and should be able to upgrade your machine to this or if it's dead. Here's a few troubleshooting things. If you're turning your machine on and you've got no screen, that doesn't necessarily mean the screen is bad. I've had a number of customers call, get a screen, they put it in, it does the same thing. You may have a troubleshooting electrical problem in the back. Your low volt power supply could be dead. The LEDs in your processor could be bad. So if you have two machines and one of them has the screen that's dead, Try pulling the screen out of it, taking it over to the other machine, pulling the back off, pulling the cables out, set it on a chair. That way you can troubleshoot and make sure, yeah, it's just my screen. I don't want you buying a screen if that's not the problem. So give us a call. We're happy to help you troubleshoot your machine. If you need a screen, if you need any other parts for your machine, we ship overnight, we ship daily. So we're happy to help you get your machine back up and running and making parts.